but it is really good. But now we are going to have Puff against Incineroar, perhaps? Oh, or Joker. Pass. <laughs> this is so polar. This is such a polarizing matchup. Anytime Cass gets Nokis off stage, that should be a dead Incineroar. But well, pretty much any time Nokis hits uh, Jigglypuff, it should be a dead Jigglypuff because damn, that character dies early. I quite disagree with that, but <laughs> there, are, there, there are some ways Incineroar can re recover. It's like not certain death every time he's off. It's, it's not certain death, of course, but it's 9 out of 10, it should be death. Well, I hope he beats the odds. We'll I mean, see. Of course, there is the whole thing with Incineroar, especially since Puff is his opponent. Even though the percentage difference is this big, it's almost even because Nokis kills so much earlier than we pass. Yeah, I just, uh, I'm not really sure about uh, the anti airs of Incineroar, but as we can clearly see, Jigglypuff spends a lot of time in the air, so she can't shield. Yeah, so. That's always the thing. Up there should be, at the very least, uh, based on its properties, it should be good. Because the, when Incineroar does his up tilt, his head is invulnerable. So that should be. But of course, it's kind of a tiny hitbox still. Oh, there we go. Just smacking him off the side B. Though, you have to be extremely careful in those situations. Yeah, that, that's, that, it can get reversed on you. Yeah, because the side B, for some reason, has super armor at the very end of it. So if he, if Cass mistimes it, he might even just hit Incineroar, but he's just like, no, I'm not going to go anywhere, get over here, and then you die. Yeah. Nice retaliation, though, coming from Nokis, and here we go. Because this is the... This is how Nokis wants this to go. He wants to be at the center stage and just smacking around this puffball, because... Of course... I mean, he want, also wants to trade hits with him. Mm. Yeah, because pretty, pretty much every trade Unless it's like rest trade, <laughs> but uh, well, I, I don't think he is willing to trade those. But yeah. every hit that you trade is good. Yeah. But so far he hasn't been doing that. Damn, he's quite. But... He's been getting smacked around. Yeah. Quite a bit. Yeah, Cass is using really well that neutral for these ledge traps because that move lasts a lot a long time. He can just oh nice parry. Those are the things, of course, that Noki sh can and should be trying to get. Just parry those things from Jigglypuff. Because, for example, in these percentages, if Noki gets a parry into a uh, neutral, that should be an almost dead Jigglypuff. Yeah. I mean, he's camping a lot with, like, using his multiple jumps. Like, just hovering in the air, waiting for a moment to strike. And as long as you mix up the timings when you go in and when you go out, uh, it should be really hard to actually get those punishes on Incineroar. Yeah. Oh. The early up because kind of late with the back here. He pretty much had that read, but he didn't pull the trigger. I mean, the Incineroar is just stuck in his shield the entire time. Yeah. Either in, the sh in his shield or just getting smacked around. Oh, and there comes the dash attack, yeah. I wasn't even sure that kills. Yeah, it's a, it's a kill move. Oh, and the shield is looking tiny. Of course, Nok is kind of in the bad spot. Oh, here comes the tech situation. And the pressure just keeps on going. Cass is not going to let you go. Oh, good shield on the up B. Oh, but the dash attack. Oh, Nok is already at 72. Because this is, this is the annoying percentages. Because right now, even a neutral is going to throw you off stage. And when you're off stage, that's always scary. Yeah. What I've been noticing is that Cass doesn't really grab, so he shouldn't be worrying about that. Just focusing on whenever he is trying to engage. Mm. Trying to, like, for example, trade with the really good moves. Yeah. Now that I actually think about it, I don't even know if Puff gets anything out of his her grabs other than just the throw. But even though you, you still need to use your grab because then that makes your opponent not want to shield that much. Yeah. You, you have the triangle of offense for a reason, you should use all of them. But then again, Jigglypuff has like really good like shield damage as well. Mm, with the that, pound and everything. Yeah. So It's scary. 
even while being in shield, it, this is that big of a disadvantage. Of course, there is the whole fact that, as you mentioned, Cass is going to be in the air almost always, and you can't grab there, so... Oh, this yeah, is scary. It, yeah, it goes both ways. So do these close situations as well. Yeah. This is looking like really even. Actually, Nokis is in the lead, I'd say, because... He just needs to be calm, uh, like calm and wait for it because this is, this is the thing that Kass does and this is the thing you can't let get into your head. Jigglypuff just jumping around in a place you can't reach. Even though Nokia is behind on percentages, he just he can't be reckless. Nice up E though. He's actually been proving me way wrong. He hasn't died to like 9 out of 10 times off stage, so he's making me a liar. So liar and nice! Read on the jump in with the back air. Actually I mean, taking the match. Both characters were at that percentage where either of their back airs was killing. Yeah. And this time it was Nokis who got the first one in. Really close set, bringing it back. Yeah. Really long set though also. That was almost at the two minute mark. But that's how it goes. With Huff you have so many jumps you need to use them. And I know, and I know that for a lot of people it gets really annoying when Puff is just jumping around. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's the quite the same as Peach just floating at mid height, yeah. waiting for you to engage on her, and then turning it around. Yeah, and then just smacking him with the forward, and that does way too much damage. But here comes Cass with the night first uh, uh, grab of the game. And that's another thing that we didn't really see from Nokis. He used zero uh, revenges in the last match. That's of course if you know that Puff is going to be approaching you with aerials. You can try to read one of those and get a power up from it. Of course, it's in these percentages, it's ridiculously scary because if Cass approaches and doesn't throw a move, Nokis uses revenge, well, you're a free rest target and you die. Yeah. Also trying to use that down smash as a, you know, better version of oh. spot dodging. Yeah, the offensive spot dodge, because I think when I tested it out, I think he's off the ground on like frame 2 or something, which is ridiculously early. It has a lot of, bit, a lot of end lag, but... Yeah, it does. If you can bait your opponent... Oh, in nice read on the jump! Oh, they didn't kill though. How did that not kill? It's, it's Jigglypuff for crying out loud. Uh, you're, think e. you're thinking of the other Pokemon, Pichu. Uh, true, but I mean, Jigs is still really... Oh, the long-lasting hitbox. Okay, this is scary for Nokis. Uh, Cass is not actually going to go for the edge guard. Just contents and waiting. Oh, good beefy up B coming from Nokis, but unfortunately not going to work this time, but... Oh my lord. Spike Get down. Yeah, spiking into the... Oh, but the cast immediately going in. Well, he wasn't even... I don't think he was ready for that, because Incineroar does get his side B back when you need to. Ooh. Two to one. Now, oh. it, now it gets really interesting. No jump. Pass again. Actually, Cass can just play for time. Yeah. He has the advantage. Yeah. No need to be too reckless or anything. Just because these small hits they rack up. And look, Nokis is already a forced off stage. Huge side B though, forcing himself in. Yeah, so again, he's he doesn't he, he doesn't need to approach. He's just he can just wait it out. And that's always the annoying thing when you're playing, when you're losing, is that you have to be the one to approach. Yeah. I mean, so far, Cass is punching above his weight limit on this game, because it is very certain that Noctis is the supposed pop, yeah, pop seed guess, on this yeah. one. So being this even, and even in a winning situation, is quite impressive both games. But I think the nerves are actually getting to him, because yeah. he's, this is he, he's too focused on win already, and it's letting him... Letting it get to his head already. Yeah, because uh, this is this is scary because Incineroar is one of those characters that he's ridiculously good at just coming back. Yeah. I mean, takes one good hit, 
but that... Yeah, no, he has his jump, he has his side B. He's still alive. Fast no, not, not being able to intercept that up B this time. Oh! And this is the scary part. The second, next side B will more than likely KO if it's one of the lead, uh, edges of the stage. Like this! There we go! Gas going a bit too passive on this. Nock is just... Okay, if you're not gonna do anything, I'm gonna win this game. I mean, that was still an impressive performance. Yeah, definitely. But that's one of the things that can be hard that you mentioned. If, if you were in the lead, you sometimes you tend to become a bit too passive. You kind of wait it out. Then you're like, okay, it doesn't matter even if I take like one or two hits here and there. I'm still one stock ahead. And then that just continues and continues. And well, then you lose the match if you don't do anything. Yeah, but there is also this thing where it clearly shows kind of the um, level of players is quite different because Nokis doesn't let the nerves get into his head. He might be like one stuck down in a really bad spot, but he still brought it back with yeah. like staying cool and all that. Yeah, I mean, he plays in Cinero, so it's pretty much necessary for him to be able to be calm and cool because that character, you, you end up a lot of times, you end up behind, being behind in the match. Yeah, and that's certainly a place where you don't want to be. Yeah. But being able to bring it back two games in a row, impressive. And like now, taking the lead in this game, it's already looking good for him. Yeah. Because in the end, you need to actually win the match in order to win the match. Yeah. Oh, Noki's going for the down and not gonna get it this time. Gas again. Uh, once again, Kass is just slowly and steadily racking up the damage. Though I do kind of question this uh, stage choice, because this is really good stage for Incineroar. He kills ridiculously early he here. That went across the stage. Yeah. Oh, it's got... Ah, oh, just a bit... A bit off the target. Nock is being able to... Still alive. Oh, no punish on it. Good. That's one thing that uh, Cass really isn't like adjusting to, but if, like he's almost always reading the same kind of option from Nokis off stage, which of course isn't the greatest option because Nokis is he's used to dealing with this. He's used to dealing with a shitty recovery, so he can he can and he will differentiate. But that was a bad option from Nokis. <laughs> a bit too much differentiation on this one. Yeah. But still, being in a really good lead, I mean, 70 percentage, already being able to kill with a smash attack or something along those yep. lines. Looking way different than last game. I mean, perhaps the nerves have gotten to pass. Yeah, it's definitely, Incineroar is one of those characters that he's scary to play against. Unless you, like, know complete, the matchup completely. I mean... Thankfully for Kaz, I'm not counting him out or anything, but he's on the winner's side, so yeah, this isn't the end. Yeah. Ooh. That's one thing that Kaz... Well, I mean, it, can, it shows how the shield regeneration in this game is really good. Every time Kaz hits, he's been getting those pounds a lot on the shield, but no shield break, because you hit it, and then when Kaz just goes to jumping around, the shield recovers entirely. Oh, they should be it! No! <laughs> that, that was quite ballsy. But that, what I've been noticing is, whenever Cass tries to poke, Incineroar could just neutral air. I mean, it seemed really good in this match a couple of yeah. times when I saw it happen. Okay, this could be actually if Cass can. Oh no, good eye recovery from Noctis. Because this is the this is the point where Cass has a lot of room to uh, work around. It's so easy to gim Incineroar. So this is definitely a doable match now because he got the last stop. I wouldn't be so sure about that since it is still one hit away from certain death. Yeah. Well, he's still alive, he's still alive. He just needs to get one hit in, he needs to get back his feet on the ground. Oh no, the sing! Ah, that definitely was a miss him that I'm, cer I'm most certain. You don't want to sing it in the middle of the stage with no reason. 
And well, I think melee got concluded. Our winner, Salovitz, from the yeah. melee. Sponsored get... by Kimotimo Esports. <laughs> yeah, he already got to show his beautiful t-shirt here on the stream. Yeah. I love the sheik on the ba uh, back. And Wait, dying he has a sheik? Yeah, has... Sale, can you Yeah, he has a sheik on his back. Mahalon has a sheik. And dying at zero percentage. That's He's cool. really good at that. <laughs> nice ass. <laughs> Showing the goods on stream. Yeah. <laughs>